So we're going to replace the actuator in the rear door of our Land Rover Discovery 4. Should be the same on a Discovery 3. We'll put the video up here of a bit of diagnostics and how to remove the door card. Right, so and now we'll start in what you need to do to replace the actuator. Sorry if it's a bit noisy, it's a bit windy. Right then, do you want to put the first thing to do is you've got to put the window up or down, depending where it is, to about that level there. Okay, because what we've got to do in a minute is we've got to pull it out of its little holder in the bottom. Right now, I haven't done this, Ian's just done it on the other side, so he's going to talk us through it a little bit. Right. Okay, so unplug, we, in the last video we left it with this, the door card. Just the main plug. So we just unplugged there, so it's totally disconnected the door card. Now you can throw that in out the way. Right, what sort of tools have we got? Uh, a couple of torques, T20, T30, small screwdriver, 10mm socket, lever tool. Um, now the trim bits we took off. The door oh, card, and then the bit. and then the all important gaffer tape. Oh, and did you have a bit of sponge as well? You needed. Okay, so the next thing you got to do is put a bit of gaffer tape on the window there, right. and then you got to tape it so that it's. And this will stop the window dropping, but still the label us. All right. So the foam is just there to protect you. There you go. And an extra one just for just to protect your your paint on your, your paint, door. and it, oh, it might not be long enough. Oh, it'll, it'll, it'll. Mm, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So now we've got that. Right then. What's the? Now we do need two people. That's another thing to note. Right. You can probably do it on your own. But it would be, it will be easier for, oh, with two sets of hands. So what we got there? Torx T. Torx T20. Standard. Four of these to get your speaker off. Looks like I've got the trick speakers on this. We haven't even pre-loosened anything on this. No, one. no. This is so. Yeah, we haven't. We've just practiced the other side, so we should better pretend we know what we're doing. Four of those, all the same. Self tappers. Uh, lever tool. Is it is it sort of goo gooed on with it? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Disconnect it from the bottom. You got like a squeeze thing going on there. Yeah, pinch those two in there. Yeah, got that. Has it got that gooey, foamy stuff all around? Yeah, try not to leave it too hard. If you just leave it gently, it will eventually come. Come, a sort of stiction. There you go. So it's a no tack, sort of sticky thing. thing. Yeah. Right. Now that gets us into the back. Oh my goodness me. I don't know if we're going to be able to show this too well. Right. Well, maybe we can show it when we take it out. I've got the we'll old actuator. You know? No. So what we're doing in so there, what are you furling around with? Okay, tool. so what we've got to do is a bit tricky, so I'm going to film it. So you're going in this speaker hole, you go in here, right, and you see that little white plastic bit? Yeah, that's it, Ian's getting the light. You've got to push that little bit at the back of it. Ooh, am I there? Hold on. Let's have a look. You've got to push that towards the door skin, and that sort of releases the clip, does it? That will release the window, so you've got to do that while you're, while lifting, you're lifting it up. So Ian's going to do that, that's what he's doing. So that little bit at the back there, hopefully you can see that. To lift the window if you... Okay, okay, go on, let's have a go. So I'm going to push that in, and then Ian's going to give the window a bit of a, a tug up. Yeah, and I did feel it unclip. So now the window is free to sort of slide up and down. And do you want me to reposition? You're going to do it from your side, yeah? And that's really the bit you need two people for that. Okay. So you might be able to manage it on your own. The window's not too heavy to be honest, it's just having two right. hands to be able to lift it. Cool. So that's the window. That was actually that's the easiest window disconnection I've ever done. It's not too bad. Uh, next step is we can remove the window motor and everything. Okay. We're, we're not gonna take it all the way out, we're just gonna move it out the way. could take it all the way out if you wanted to. So you've got two nuts on the top. Which 
just locate it. And then you've got four 10 mils. These are all 10 mils. It goes all the way down there, does it? So you've got the yeah. two at the top, the two in the middle, and the two at the bottom. This is this whole panel that we're going to move. Oh, way. I see it. It's that whole black panel. Okay, let's have a look at These are all the same. So these ones are all locked tightly in. This is why they're a bit more difficult. Disconnect the black one, just the lever on the outside there. Okay, just so rest just rest it, in, it rest, it, rest in it in wherever you can. Yeah. So we're going up to the back here, and the okay, unit so this we're taking is... out is... Actually, yeah, do you want to go and grab actually. that new unit we're showing, and then that might help give some perspective so to yeah, it. This is the beast we're actually replacing, so you can see that it's got the sort of whole lock mechanism that you can see here on the door. Um, and then what are you going to be... So we've got the inner cable comes in and connects down here. Right. Um, the outer cable for the outer handle connects into this one and the, the outer sleeve of it sits in, in there. there. That's the tricky one to do, which we'll show you. Right. Um, but that gives you an idea of where you're working in the car. In the car, It's yeah. right on that We're front door. And then we've got a connector. And then we've got an electrical connector there. That's the first thing we can do. So pull can that little that one out. out. Pull that connector out, will fit through that hole. And it, it was so just that's a just a little, a little press on the press side, on the on the bottom. On so the that's bottom. right on yeah, the bottom. Right on the bottom. The interior cable can go into the door. Push the grommet in. Push the grommet in. Take the whole cable. Thread the whole back cable in. back through. Try yeah. not to kink it or anything, but it you would have to. Because we're going to reuse really those cables, tight. aren't we? The... Yeah. And then, and we're ready to remove. And they're torques, they're a bit bigger, those ones. These are T30. They're only short, these are all the same. Counter sun. And you're having to support it there, I don't gonna... think it will drop, the, the cable will hold it. Just stops you dropping too far. Right, cool. Now we get the fun bit. <laughs> That's a tricky bit. It's where you crash my, crash my car. So the inner kit, the inner door handle, the outer, outer door, door handle, handle. Sorry. So this is the cable running from this one down. So I don't know if you can see in there. You've got to sort of twist it and yeah, manipulate yeah, yeah, it into place. Yeah. This is the clip we're going to have to remove first. Right. So you've got four little legs on it. Can you see that on there? Yeah, I see a little bit. So that need, you've got four of those that need ties in. Sort of up and down as up we're looking down. at them. Yeah. Can you feel them click or? No, you can't really feel anything. They're so small. You want to be careful with those. So you need a little flat bladed screwdriver or a, or a pen knife. Or You don't want to obviously leave it too hard because you'll snap the little you snap those little tabs off if you yeah and are those tabs on on the cable we need to reuse or are they that's it yeah they right. are yeah okay so that releases that outer sleeve if i can hook that there yeah so that's those little clips yeah we can just about see that so you're leaving them up and down yeah, respectively. Up, up that way and the bottom one goes down. Yeah, and there's four, got that. And then, I don't know if I'm going to show you this at all. Maybe you have to pull it outside and show. Right. So 
that's removed, but what I did at the end there. That little cable there with a sort of pear-shaped end on it. Yeah. It's got a sort of hammer head on the back. Yeah. So you need to slot okay. it into that metal Front piece. Piece. Yeah. And then it will twist. Okay. So once you, it's so in you place. twisted it. So I twisted it, and then you've got to pull it out. Pull it out. Which yeah. isn't okay. easy. Okay. But it's not too bad. Is it? But yeah, you can get your hand in the back to reach up here. So two hands on it, you might be able to manipulate right. it out. And then it's basically just a reverse. We've got to just whip that oh, cable yeah. off, haven't we? Yeah. So this cable, this is the hammerhead type, the same type of clips basically. as on the other sleeve in. So leave them out. You got, you got four again? Or? Just two on this one. Okay. You sort of lifting it up, that's it. Lifting right, it as you lift pull. that up. Then you twist the cable. You've got to give it a bit of rotation in it. And then it should just pop out. So you've got a little cut out in there for that V-shape. V-shape, okay. To stop it coming out. And then... So that transfers over to the other one. So again, you've got that little V-shape cut out. You push that in. That should just drop in and then twist. Yeah. And then that no, can yeah, no longer yeah, come out. Be, yeah. That just pushes down. Okay. It. Cool. And then, then we've got the tricky bit of redoing reconnecting this. that. But yeah, it's not going to be great on the video. But yeah, you've got to just line that slot up with that. So put I found, your screws back in. Found if you put put one hand underneath, you can get get the access to this and use your fingers to twist it. And then you can also go in through this latch hole, and you've got two hands to be able to try and yeah. get it back to where you need to. Then it's just a case of this one comes back through. That one goes through, refit those grommets and those connectors, um, window mechanism back in place, drop the window down, speaker back in, all back yeah. together. Cool.